Hey, this is Andrew Abyss. How are you doing? I uh, hope you're all well. Thank you all of you for posting constantly on, on uh, what's going on in um, Fukushima and Japan and around the world in the United States with the radiation uh, situation we find ourselves in. So thank you for the information you put out there. Uh, I learn a lot and um, takes a lot of, takes a lot of dedication uh, to do that. You know, Missing Sky, uh, Nibiru Magic, um, Miss Milky the Clown, Red Button Studio, and um, Freedom uh, W V. All you guys, sorry, I've probably missed out a lot of people. So thank you for the uh, the information you're posting. Now I, for me, I'm um, I finished writing my third documentary and uh, I've got a lot of uh, video formatting to do over the next month so that'll be out soon. Um, proposal date uh, for me to release it would be September 1st. That'll be a nice round date. Now I'm going to uh, release a again a director's cut of uh, the, th the third Fukushima documentary and a remixable version. Now the director's cut will have um, copyrighted music on it uh, the remixable version will not. So I'm going to... Um, the third documentary I feel more comfortable actually um, uh, offering, uh, it, uh, offering it for uh, individual sale, like copies of the, uh, the movie to interested buyers, people who just want to purchase and support my studio, support uh, the message I'm putting out. Um, uh, so uh, look out for that. Um, the first two movies, especially the first one, I was just um, collaging uh, information together from all different people, um, commercial, uh, commercially sensitive stuff. So uh, you know, you, I could never uh, hope to sell it, and uh, you know, quite rightly, not sell it because um, you know that's that's uh, there's a lot of copyright involved, and that's other people's um, you know uh, other people's um, hard work. You know that that, that they uh, have um, have rights to um, YouTube is a is a commons, but um, there is stuff that uh, you know uh, certainly belongs to you know movie companies and uh, and uh, you know uh, production studios, news studios that um, that you would not um, sell as a commercial proposition. So that's why with, with the one with one and number two uh, on Fukushima Beach. And uh, one and num number two, there was uh, stuff on there that um, you really couldn't um, resell. So it was just for you know public service announcement. But with, with number three, I'm going to. I feel more comfortable about um, about selling this one. Now I'm going to uh, have a, a sellable version that you can order online. But also, of course, at the same time, I'm going to have. Um, the very same movie posted online for free for anyone to see because you know it's just <laughs> the main thing is to to um, to get the word out. Uh, this is you know it's not really a movie like a James Bond movie. It's it's this is for it's a public service announcement uh, because everyone needs to know this information about Fukushima and uh, you know I don't want to have it in a cinema or, or have it at a um, at a, um, a film festival, you know, this just this needs to be out there for people to see. Um, so yeah, so I'll be selling uh, copies. Uh, please support me in this. Uh, support me with a by buying or donating or uh, just even spreading the sharing um, the movie, uh, be it through word of mouth or, or remixing it. So there'll be a, a sellable version and a remixable version. Um, that you can just watch online for free. That'd be uh, that'd be great support as well. And uh, remixing it uh, freely. You know, burning discs. You can burn discs. Uh, you know, go ahead. So um, yeah, that's um, hopefully September one. Now uh, you know it's, it's with Fukushima. It's just getting you know crazy. Um, it's a sense, I guess, that uh, it really is now or never. Uh, you know, it's always been now or never, but. Um, I'd like to propose something um, uh, that um, it was just a, a suggestion. It's not a, a cure-all, but I think we need to um, uh, get the word out in a co perhaps a coordinated fashion, like a uh, a um, like a signage or chalking blitz. Maybe it could be September one. I don't know October one. 
and whenever we can get ourselves organized. But, um, you know, we need a perhaps a catchphrase and, um, and the one that come to, comes to mind for me is uh, on Fukushima Beach. So uh, there have been other campaigns for um, um, buying silver or, you know, if you followed that from, from Max Kaiser. But uh, if we have the message like um, Google on Fukushima Beach, uh, just chalking on the pavement, uh, sign, putting up signs, all on a coordinated date or maybe a designated week. Um, I'm not sure. Tell me what you think about that. Uh, maybe you could have it Google Fukushima Diary. Um, something very, very central uh, to what the message is. So some people can, um, you know, strike their curiosity. It's like, you know, it costs them nothing to look in a search engine. Um, so just a, a very simple phrase that's, that's kind of catchy, but will get people uh, thinking outside of... Um, you know what what they're normally thinking of which is you know x factor or um nfl so um i'm thinking uh, google on fukushima beach because the whole movie's there i made that movie for you know to cover everything comprehensively but also very fast in an hour so in an hour they could get a really good overview not too heavy with the science not too depressing it's a little i you know i made it so there's a little bit of um everything in there for any everyone like a, maybe a child could see it an adult um, a middle school student and uh, gain an appreciation of how how serious and deadly the situation really is and uh, um, so um, that's what I'm thinking I know I, know, I know I made the movie and uh, you know it's it's um, it's my piece of cake but um, I, I think that's kind of catchy and uh, people will remember it easily enough just three words put it in their search engine and if we all sort of chalk it um, banner it um, I don't know on bridges on 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 pavements uh, legal lawful places of course uh, all on a coordinated date it would attract a media interest um, I, I'm you know like kind of like what Greenpeace does but I think Greenpeace have been really behind the eight ball in um, really telling what's going on with uh, the tritium that's going into the ocean um, you know, and I know a few green activists, and they're they're talking about you know the usual things like um, you know, save the whales, which is very important. But um, you know, uh, there's not enough. Uh, this is just my opinion, but mainstream uh, green left interest in Fukushima about what's truly going on. I think they're generally anti-nuclear, but um, they don't really have a, an idea what's what's really going on. Uh, I think Kevin D. Blanche will agree with me there. So uh, tell me what you think. How about September 1st? Uh, get it out on pavements. Google on Fukushima Beach. Because it's really getting, you know, we really need to um, get this word out there. Um, it's, it's, it's just beyond, you know, it's just really, really serious. Really serious stuff. Uh, also, um, I'm thinking of... Um, perhaps coordinating uh, small groups to do, um, well, not coordinating, but um, this is my idea to, to uh, have um, sort of Fukushima radiation clinics. What, what I mean by that is is having um, uh, stalls out on, on, on in, you know, prominent public areas where you have some activists like us um, having some signage that, uh, you know, Fukushima is not over, Fukushima is, uh, you know, um, it's a big cover-up, and we, we'll be... Not not trying to solicit you know money or anything, but um, just um, uh, being there, open, ready to to talk to people who are interested in um, hearing about the real situation. Um, so it's like a it's like a clinic, like like a, you'd say um, like a football clinic, you know, learning how to how to dribble or whatever. But uh, this is um, a, sort of a Fukushima radiation clinic where where we can have paraphernalia about um, uh, radiation dangers, um, realia maybe. <laughs> I don't know, um, some signage to attract people to, to really hear uh, what's going on um, and uh, so we can sort of impart the seriousness of the situation and, and maybe draw up um, email lists, uh, I don't know about the petitions, but um, you, know, I, I, you know, I'm kind of inexperienced myself, but you know, getting uh, bodies and names and um, uh, so we can send them information, you know, a link, 
uh, you know, a, a phone number to a, to a town hall meeting. Um, this is really a, I'm a novice in this area as well. But we just need to be out there, uh, um, uh, present for people to be able to to see um, a big alternative to what's being, you know, uh, pronounced in the media and um, from the mainstream green movement because they're not uh, they're not really reading the situation um, um, very well. So tell me what you think about. Um, Google on Fukushima Beach uh, on a, all on a coordinated date getting the banners and signage out there and uh, running radiation clinics at the same time uh, because you know <laughs> this is it's getting beyond uh, this is just this has something has to be done and uh, we just need to up the ante so tell me what you think uh, welcome any feedback um, yeah, let me know. So, uh, movie coming out soon. I'll let you know what's going on. And uh, take care. See you later.